All right, I might have a noisy mic going on here. So this is my first time, I think, recording directly into an audio interface, which is my Zoom H6. This is not my main recording interface. It's my Zoom H6 plugged into the actual laptop that I have, this Linux hardware, or this actual distribution installed on. This is Linux Mint 21.3, my first run, my first look at it. And it's a long-term support release, and it says it will be supported until 2027 in my notes here. And it comes with updated software and brings refinements and many new features to make your desktop experience more comfortable. So they've made some changes to Hypnotics, which I actually haven't been really using it at all, but they've made some changes to it to let you set your channels as favorites and you can add your own channels like if you have the IPTV channel link you can add it and no matter what TV provider you have they'll all be in those favorites it doesn't have to be like a certain type of channel next to a certain type of channel so let's go to hypnotics and check that out I don't want to get flagged for like copyright or anything but it launches really quickly we got movies we got TV channels let's see what kind of TV channels we got if there's any in the United States that come up here. It says there's 19. Well, everything's loading quickly. All the screenshots, it's pulling in the data really quickly. So that's awesome. I'm not Like I said, I'm not going to click on any of these. I don't want to get flagged on YouTube. They're a big outfit, so they have to watch, you know, running into copyright issues, I guess. Um, so you can use Hypnotics without any kind of playlist or IP TV provider. So it's just kind of out there and you can just throw things at it. It kind of reminds me of the old, do you remember Real Media Player in the 90s? It's like mid to late 90s, I think. That's how old I am. It was really crappy quality, streaming over the internet. Well, streaming over dial-up that I had. Yeah. That kind of makes me think of, like, this kind of makes me think back to those times. Anyways, it says there's a YT DLP updates. So another important change was made. I'm reading this directly off their website. Uh, obviously, you could do this on your own, but I'm just reading it because I'm kind of using it to walk through the video. Under the hood, Hypnotics uses libmpv, which itself relies on YTDLP to stream YouTube channels. Although the upstream YTDLP project is quick to react to YouTube changes when they break compatibility, the YTDLP system package, whether it's in the Debian or Ubuntu, isn't updated as often. To ensure YouTube channels continue to work when the YTDLP package is outdated, we added the ability for Hypnotics to download and update its own local version of YTDLP. That is awesome. Sounds good, right? <laughs> okay, cool. So updating YTDLP in Hypnotics is now really easy, and it says note that for security reasons, updates are triggered manually, and the local version of YTDLP only gets used by Hypnotics. Very cool. That sounds secure to me. Cinnamon 6.0. Let's go check that out. That's the big reason I use Linux Mint. And it says cinnamon add-ons are called spices. Until now, cinnamon supported four types of spices. Applets, desklets, extensions, and themes. But now they support a new kind called actions. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man, I wish I had like real good gating on here like I do on my real mixer. But this will do for now. This is the only way I could get a mic directly into Linux. So... These actions, formerly known as Nemo actions, are add-ons for your file manager's context menu. So when you right-click, you can get extra options like on an ISO that, that says like verify, whatever actions you can find, I guess, that are something you want to add. But that's awesome. That, that, that adds a lot more power because I already love how Linux Mint has the option to, let's show, I'll show you right here. This is one of my favorites. Like if you have a file, let's name it text file, and then we'll open it and just add some text to it. And Control S will save it. And we'll close it. If I right click on this file, you can go to delete, which skips the recycling bin or the trash folder. And then you can just delete it. So with these spices, you can download and enable and rate them just like any other spices. Like when you added like, you know, maybe a calculator or widget or something like that, you can go right rate them now. And that's awesome. That's so cool. So let's go, um, let me see if I can go to... Right click on the desktop here, add desklets. Does it have the spices up here in like this area? 
it says by default will continue to only ship actions which are useful to, useful to most people. In Cinnamon 6, actions are now a new type of spice. You can download and enable them. So let's go see if we can find actions. If I can type in, oh, there they are, actions. Gosh, that could not be any easier. Okay, cool. So right here, add desklets. And these are actions, like the specifically the new thing that you that you have. So we could do, let's see, if I right click here, you see display settings, but there's one that you could add called format. You could format a USB stick, so you can add that action. And it's cool, you get the choice to do that. It's not just what you're gonna, you know, be given by Microsoft, it's what you want to add here. Send with Warpinator sounds really cool. Now, I, I haven't tried it out lately, but Warpinator did have a test version that worked on the iPhone, and it was really cool, and it was fast. So I don't see anything about sending with Warpinator yet, so let's click on that one, and we're going to add it. I'm going to double-click it. Does that work? Oh, you got to go to download. It's already there. It's already, So that means that one's already in... Okay, so that one's already installed. I should have known that. It's a lot different when I'm recording a video. I'm not thinking as clearly. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> thinking about what part I'm going to do next and looking strangely right at the screen that says manage and it's already installed here. So that's cool. But if we go to download, you got restart cinnamon. That's a cool one because it doesn't really impact anything you're doing. It's not as um, intrusive as like re re restarting Windows Explorer where everything just kind of like blacks out for a second. And let's try that. Let's, let's install this one. I'm going to download this to my context menu. And if I right click, Let's see, is it there? Desklets. Maybe you got to click on it again and then let's see, more info. Oh, cool. So restart cinnamon. This action adds a context menu item to the desktop to restart cinnamon. So I'm not sure. Yeah, it says right click on the desktop. So I'm assuming I have to log out probably. I don't see restart under here, but that's really cool that I could just do that and then, you know, um, I don't want to log out because, well, <laughs> that's where my video recording is going to stop, and I'm not editing video in Linux. Sorry. I can do it with KDN Live, but I'm not going to download that on this particular computer where I don't have it. I have it on my other Linux computer. <laughs> so um, there's quite a few under here for a first release. This is so cool. Compress PDF? That is so cool. So I can compress a PDF to send for email. I can do OCR. It's Apparently, I'm not sure what service it uses to do optical character recognition, but it's there. Well, before I just drool over all these, I guess, let's go to the next section. Wayland, that's the big one. The work started on Wayland. They want everything to be super solid and just work out of the box with Linux Mint, and that's what they do. Wayland is here. It's it's. I'm running it right now. And this was identified as one of the major challenges our project had to tackle in mid to long term. And they knew it because... Wayland is just, it's more secure than X, it's, it, um, than the X window system. It's just, it's, it's, it's ready for modern times. There's, there's a lot of flaws in X, I guess, even though it's fine for me to run on most Linux distributions, there's, there's issues with it, I guess, that I wouldn't understand because I'm not a programmer. But Wayland isn't expected to replace Xorg, they said, as default anytime soon. Um, but we want to be ready at the same time. Cinnamon features experimental Wayland support in the login screen. They added the option there so you don't have to like go in there and uncomment it or whatever. It's there. And I checked. It's really cool. The Wayland session isn't as stable as the default one. It lacks features and comes up with its own limit. It comes with its own limitations, they said. It was added as a preview for people interested in Wayland. I don't notice any drawback, honestly. A board was set up to keep track of Wayland development. It's available at whatever, Trello. You know what? Did I revert back? I don't even know. Wayland's there, though, when you click the little gear thing. They allowed 75% scaling. That's back. So if we go, you know, right-click on the display, uh, desktop and go to display settings, you can see right here there's a little slider for... Where is it at? Where's fractional scaling? Oh. I'm not in Wayland. <laughs> I went back. Uh, did I... I don't know when I did it off the USB stick. Well, I think that's... I think that's a Wayland thing, right? Like being able to do that? Maybe, because I don't see the setting here. Disable. Oh, no, here it is. Maybe I am in Wayland. I could check with the uh, command, XDP or whatever the heck it is. There we go, 75%. Cool. 
That's awesome. So if you're on a 4K monitor, maybe you want to play around with these. The stylus buttons can be disabled. Windows opacity key binding is back. The monitor used for notifications is now configurable. Menu apps can be edited with a right click. Properties. Menu apps can be, let's try. Does that mean like, oh, menu apps. I'm on the, uh, the, the cinnamon bar or whatever you call it. So if I go to this and I can, oh, that's so cool. See, these are like little things, but they're actually big things. It, it's not easy to make this thing, this stuff happen because these are all big, you know, announcements that happened in this, um, in this update, these feature updates. But these are big. Like if you want to add like a, maybe a switch to the command, I guess you could find out what it is and add it to your program just to make it behave a certain way. That's part of the freedom of Linux. The monitor use for notifications is now configurable. Okay. Gestures, new desktop zoom action. What is that? Is there a zoom action? Can I type zoom and see if it comes up? Um, zoom, enable zoom, desktop zoom. There it is. So mouse wheel modifier is alt. Oh, that's so cool. Instantly, I can just zoom on the desktop. I love it. So I held alt and I just dragged down on my touchpad with two fingers to, you know, um, what do you call that? Mimic a uh, mouse wheel, I guess. So I'm assuming if you do that with a mouse wheel, it's going to work. That's so cool. And that was so easy and it just was smooth. There are, you can now specify when an action is triggered with gestures. Sound applet, new shift, middle click action. Okay, let's see that. I got a middle click button. If we go to the sound app here. And middle it instantly muted it. That's cool. Grouped window list. New option to not show anything when hovering an app button. I like that. Maybe you want it to be private. Maybe it's too intrusive for you. You can change that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Warpinator, it's now possible to connect to another device manually by entering its IP or on mobile or scanning a QR code. This is exciting. I can't wait to see if this comes back to the iPhone. I don't see anything on here about it. The Sticky Notes app received support for debus commands. This makes it possible to manage notes from scripts or key bindings. This is, a, this is awesome. And if you think Linux Mint is just for beginners, no way. There's a lot of stuff you could do with this. Any Linux guru could make this their own and, and make it super powerful. People that know enough about Linux, they could use this. They can make it happen. <laughs> um, so in Slick Greeter, the login screen, the alignment of the login box is now configurable. Very cool. Bulky, the batch file renaming tool, receives support for thumbnails and drag and drop. In Pix, video playback now takes the video orientation into account and automatically rotates it. That's cool. So is that like EXIF data or something? It must be some metadata that it's picking up on. The backup tool, Mint Backup, which I'm not really familiar with. Mint Backup. Let's just type in Backup. Backup tool. And we're going to go there. And I wonder if this is just like a front end for rsync or something. Like um, Backup tool. I mean, they make their own stuff with Linux Mint, and it's so impressive. Like Warpinator, it's just incredible. What a what a great team. So personal data, I'm gonna do backup now. And where do you want to save it? Backup. So let's do it in downloads. I go forward, and go forward, and 